Hello everyone, a hearty welcome to you all, I hope you all had an awesome day and thank you for joining me in Hearts of Iron 4. Well, today I can gladly announce that I'm going to start a new series in Hearts of Iron 4. Series will be started in the mod called Red World. So, most of you probably know what's the Red World about. Well, let's check here. For almost two decades, it was believed that the United States and Soviet Union would be at each other's throats for a century to come. But with an economy crisis every few years, a socialist revolution in another third world nation and a disastrous American intervention somewhere on the planet, the United States collapsed in 1987. As the Soviet Union took control over the world and the lands of the former United States shared out in the various nations, it seemed that communism was unstoppable. But now, as the Soviet world all weekends, can democracy be revived or will a more radical ideology take hold? Well, we let's check the world map. So that's how the world map looks like. The Soviet Union dominates the globe still with its Warsaw Pact. It dominates Poland, all of Europe, it, Italy is they're all under the Soviet high command. Then, but they aren't puppets, so they can break away easily if the wrong thing happens. So you know. And we have the American Republic here. Which is, well, a Soviet rival, and which would be an interesting choice to pick as well, the American Republic. Especially to reunify the United States would be a goal, and then to wage war against the Soviet Union. It's also the question now which arises here is... Should I play as the Soviet Union? Well, if I play as the Soviet Union, I would not maintain this uh, canvas world order. I would go on another path. Or should I go and play as the American Republic having a challenge here? Especially if you play on veteran. That's the question here. Let's take a look. Well, these two countries are the only countries to be played. Let's take a look at the Soviet Union. Uh, playing on veteran, I'll play on veteran to make, to make things even harder. So the Soviet Union, well, starts off, well, I guess, well, as a superpower with 204 factories. Although we have rampant corruption here. So, this is the Soviet focus tree. I uh, revealed this once, but it's probably changed. You can choose between Zhuganov, Putin, Rutskoy, or Gorbachev. So, if we would go for Putin, we could, well, of course, establish total KGB control. But what we could also do is, we could, well, of course, establish the cult, the cult of personality and then overthrow the Politburo and then put into Russia. Well, that's all we are gonna do. Put into the Union and march in Moscow. And then the fascist party uh, becomes the ruling party and then, yeah, so, and then we would be a fascist nation. And probably uh, we'd be on our own there. But I think I... Mm, well, I want to know your opinion, actually, of which nation I should play. If I should play as a Soviet Union, going Putin's way. Uh, or if I should play as the United States, as the American Republic. Well, I like, let's uh, switch to the American Republic. I don't know what's tag, so I have to do TD back. It's not like it's USA, so let's tag USA. So, or play as the American Republic, where we have uh, 41 factories, but they insanely in depth fox tree which gives us lots of options to reunify the united states of america so would you like to see the restoration of the united states or to play a game as the soviet union i'll make a poll down below in the description and you can choose so you should vote and soon you'll have around, let's say, 10 hours time to vote, and after that I'm gonna start, or maybe let's say half a day to vote, maybe in one day. And then, I'll either play the Soviet Union or the American Republic. It's a serious. So, should sure vote. If you play the American Republic, I could go corporatists, or restore order, or conservatives, or nationalists, but that's yet to come. So the main question is, if I should reunify the United States, or if I should play as the Soviet Union. The choice is yours, so go sure to vote. I'm looking forward to your vote, and see you next time. Have a 
Last day.